Hey guys, I'm joined now by Jocelyn Brown, who not only heard this crash, but she saw it. Jocelyn, describe for us what it was that you heard and saw. Well, at first I heard a big sputtering sound, and usually you don't really hear anything from living over here. You see a lot of planes go by, so you only hear the normal, and then it'll be gone. But this particular plane, you heard like a type of sound going over the houses, and then there was like sputtering. By the time then, me and my mom are concerned. So when we rush over here, you see a plane hit the side of the house and then crash right down there. And it just seemed like something. It was a big explosion. So it was like a boom. And by the time then, the flames were just so high. And then there was a big mushroom effect of smoke. And it just bust into flames. Now, after the one initial crash, boom, you heard three explosions. People think it was maybe the gas pipes or maybe just left over something of the airplane, but you heard all three, but you only felt the one at the very beginning. So after that, everybody's concerned. There's many people calling, you know, the police station, the fire department and stuff like that. And so they're telling us, you know, stop calling. We already dispatched somebody. So by the time then, everybody's wondering, you know, if somebody's inside, there's two cars. So everybody's running up to the house wondering if they should go in and do something. We're hearing people behind the houses and stuff like that. And you hear just the cringling, and then you see, like, the front of the face just, of the house just start to deteriorate. And Jocelyn, you're watching the plane basically hit the house, crumble it down. What's going through your head at the time? Oh, my gosh. Is there somebody inside? What do we do? You know, the fire department's not here. It's taking forever. You know, everybody's taking videos wondering what's taking so long. You know, there's houses, you know, people saying, you know, we live right here. Oh, my gosh, somebody hurry up and go inside. So by the time then, we're sitting here wondering who's going to go inside. Did you hear any screams for help? Anything coming from the house, Jocelyn? I heard screams, and somebody else beside me heard screams, but we're not sure if it was from inside the house or behind the house. By the time then, people were showing up. Everybody was talking around it, so we're not completely sure it came from inside the house, but we did hear screams. Tell us about the family that lives there. The family that lives there is a really good family. The mother has two children that I know take the bus at the side of the street right up here. Every morning she walks them up there. Me and my mom were just saying, we see her walk around with her kids, one in a stroller, which is probably the two-month-old, and the two little girls. They walk around the neighborhood all the time. Now, the father, if there's a father, we never see him, but the mother, for sure, she's a very sweet woman. She talks all the time to anybody. So hopefully everything's okay. I just hope that. We did hear from the aunt that she believed the mother and the two youngest children were at home at the time. Oh my gosh, that's just crushing. Did you attempt to, you know, yell into the house? What did you do? I yelled, is anybody in there? Hello, hello, can you hear me? And you know, I was really close to the house by the time then. The people were trying to hold me back because, you know, I'm not authorized to go in there. You know, I probably would have hurt myself, you know, going in there myself. But, you know, by the time then, with everything going on, you know, you just want to know, I know this woman, she's in my neighborhood, we need to do something to try and help. But honestly, from seeing the flames and the smoke, we knew just from the crash and the collision, if they were in that house, they probably would not have survived. Now, let's move over the scene here and take a look at the debris left from that jet that apparently uh, lives were lost there as well, very sadly. Did you see... Any signs of life coming from the air here? Any sounds? No, I didn't hear or see anything. I think that it was probably just too hot, much for them to handle, and it was just over before they even hit, you know. Now, Jocelyn and I are taking a look at the split level that I believe you see right now. It is a gray home with green shutters where the debris is on the front lawn. And then to the left of that is a home with uh, shattered windows and some of the siding and roofing lost. I'm wondering, Jocelyn, if you know the residents of either home, if they came running out or what happened? I don't know the residents, but I do know that the people from the Tannish home, you know, you see the purple walls, they did come out, but they said they were okay. And they were just shocked and scared. And after that, they came and stood in the street with everybody and tried to help extinguish the flames and try and see if anybody was inside. How else did the neighbors react? I know a lot of people called 911. Uh, people were videotaping. I, I'm hoping that they helped, tried to help first. What were they doing? There was people screaming. There was people around the backside, actually, if you were the firefighter men, the backside of their house. There was people back there trying to see if they can get into the house or see into the house. But like I said, with the second, you know, boom, 
they were just like, you know, we can't make it in there. The flames are just too big. No, nobody can make it. Jocelyn Brown, a neighbor and a witness to this horrific scene here. We thank you so much.